Today we're going to take a look at a really cool feature in Quixel Suite 2 called ID Presets. This really empowers you to create a nice texture base very quickly using baked ID maps. You can utilize the massive Suite 2 library of scan-based smart materials to build ID presets, or of course use your completely custom-made smart materials for complete control. In this tutorial, I'll be using a preset that I created myself, which is a mix of my own smart materials and the Suite 2 ones. And this preset is also part of the latest Suite 2 release. We'll be using a mesh by Frederick Doust, 3D character artist at BioWare. Frederick has been kind enough to share this mesh freely with you so that you can follow along this tutorial using the exact same example if you want to. We'll begin like usual by first plugging in our inputs. The most important map here is the Material ID map, which is essentially just flat colors that represent different materials. I'll walk you through how to bake such maps in a little bit using the Quixel Colors plugin that ships with the suite. Next, let's select an ID preset. This is where the magic happens. There are a few different ones here and they all produce a distinct look that has been designed by an artist beforehand. Let's choose my weathered materials preset. The UI now refreshes to indicate we're about to create a texture base. Let's click the Make Art button. Dido is now doing its thing, setting up my materials just like I've defined them earlier. I'll speed this process up a little bit. The total generation time is about a minute for this project. And there we go! Let's take a look at it. The entire character has now been textured completely automatically using my custom design preset. ID presets let you save all the hard work you've put into all your previous projects and fully leverage this work when creating new projects, effectively saving you lots of time by not having to redo repetitive tasks. In the next part of this tutorial we'll take a look at how to create a color ID map from scratch in 3D Studio Max and Maya using Quixel Colors. 